Hi, welcome to another video. Today we're finally going drift in real life, not the Seto Corsa. My drift car ain't ready and it's not gonna be ready for a while. And I really wanna drift. It's my birthday in like five days, but this is my this is my birthday present. Oh, look at this. This is my birthday present from my girlfriend. A drift day in Slovenia. You can rent a car there. Anyway, I had COVID. I had COVID for like uh, a week. And yesterday I was finally negative. So today we're going to Slovenia to drift on uh, Drift Polygon. Drift Polygon, Drift Polygon. We got a pretty good price. We didn't take the whole day. We took like two hours, but that's more than enough of drifting for one day, I, I think. I mean, it's never enough of drifting for one day, but like we got a good price for two hours and right now I'm going to pick up my girlfriend and my friend Rocco and uh, we're going to Slovenia. Should be fun. Should be really fun. Haven't drifted in a while, except for a Seto Corsa. Hopefully we'll still have a... I still know how to whip it. We'll see. Ah, uh, we are here. Yes? Tires screeching, people preach, preaching, I need to take sheet in. I'm out of my fright. I'm sorry, we cannot go through. And we're here. Whoa. I'm going to be driving an E46, uh, 3 point, no, 2.3 liter E46, that's what I chose. And we're here, Jesus Christ, so many people. Okay. okay, we're like 150 kilometers from my hometown. And this is a completely different universe. Like,
Hey, then. Hey, boy. Hey. Oh, I can finally talk. Man, renting a renting a car interesting. I don't know. First, when I when I was waiting for the first lap, where I drove terribly, it was like shaking like this. Second time it was fine. Third time it was. Layla was with me for the first time in her life. Like she was in a car that that is drifting, and she was like, asked her if she wanted to go one more, one more time. She was like, no, let me out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. I don't know. I'm not that good, but it's a weird car. I mean, I'm not. No, I'm not making any excuses. Listen, I need to get used to this. That's, this this was a mistake. So yeah, but it's fun. super fun. Hey, that's what drifting is for, right? Fun.
Tak se se zabijou gumu? 
Tak mi je ruka izletila sam olana i svom snagom sam se udario šakom u jaja. Jebe <laughs> It's been like three weeks since we've uh, visited the Race Gasmic Drift track uh, and uh, I haven't talked about it. I was, I'm, I was meaning to, I wanted to film like my experience, like I wanted to talk about my experience there. Haven't talked about it, haven't filmed the video, haven't edited the video. So now I'm gonna do it. I'm also here today at Ler to work on my car, but yeah, we can do this as well. I'm surrounded by fucking mosquitoes. I have like a million bites already. Yeah, I'm gonna film the outro for the video. And after that, I'm gonna be filming working on the car. Let's talk about the experience. It was something out of a movie. Like, it's literally 100 kilometers away from Zagreb. And you come there and there's like... 20 people drifting, like, at any given moment there's like at least 3 people on the track, and it's fucking crazy, like we have nothing like, nothing even similar to that here, so that was fucking crazy, just the, the scene that was, yeah, I'm gonna have to change the position because people are walking by. Okay, so we relocated, uh, we're in the garage next to Lubo. I wanted to talk about how it was there. I had a great time. I rented a BMW E46, uh, making around 200 horsepower. It's a, it's a 2.3 liter, but actually it's 2.5. Probably has been reflashed by uh, skids in Republic Banana. Uh, Erik Jankovic, best drift like best drifter in, in this region in my opinion he's aggressive and smooth at the same time like check him out anyway back to the story it was something out of a movie i'm telling you it was fucking crazy and first i had to get used to, uh, used to the car and drifting again i haven't drifted in since i blew up my engine right after the race uh so i i was just like i went out and that's what you're gonna see like at first i was just like very conservative with uh with going sideways. I was uh, very uncertain of, am I gonna be able to do it? It became really obvious that I'm able to do it and I had a bunch of fun. Now, getting used to someone else's car, you can get used to it, it's it's whatever, but like, even though I rented a car and I paid like 200 bucks for it, it's still someone else's car. You cannot feel completely like, I didn't drive as well as I could have, or should have but it's still someone else's car so but I had so much fucking fun thing is I was talking to a friend later and I was like I, I rented the car for like two hours and I was like man like I got bored after 30 minutes of drifting the reason for that is I had no idea what to do there's no like there are no there are no like you on this track there's no actual way to go there's no you can do whatever you want so there I lost a bit of my creativity and I was not able to, I don't know, just think of routes I'm gonna go and that's why I got bored. It was not exactly boredom, it was just like lack of inspiration and part of the reason why I didn't drift as well as I could or should have. And it's also very intimidating, you get there, there's like 20 locals and they're all watching you and they're like, who the fuck is this guy? And it, it's like this constant, you're constantly thinking about what someone else is like when you free yourself of that you're actually gonna be able to do whatever you're doing better like whether it's skating or, or, or surfing or drifting or whatever like but it's really hard to get in the in the zone where you're like I don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks I'm just gonna send it anyway that's the one part of the story that I wanted to tell one part of the experience also, at the, at the end of the video, I say, like, I, I, I told my friend in creation what happened when I hit the tires with my front left rim. My hand got ripped, ripped of the steering wheel, like, the, the steering wheel just fucking sent my fist into my balls. So that was very fun and not painful a, a, at all. It was, I enjoyed it very much. I should have talked about this, like, 
three days after we went there because now it's so hard to remember what I wanted to say and I wanted to say a lot of things. Also, thanks to the guys, they they gave me a good price. It was they were really nice, a bunch of nice people. There was one older guy that I also I think he also rents the car or so, I don't know what's the deal, but he rips. He was driving a E36 compact, so fucking aggressive. Also, the reason why he blew like 25 tires because he was go constantly going off off the track, which you're kind of supposed to do there. That that's kind of the the point of that track. You, you're kind of supposed to be on the edge the whole time if you you are if you want to maintain the drift. Like you're supposed to be on the edge. Uh, which I was kind of scared of because still it's not my car and I got a couple of good runs in <laughs> And after some time I was just like yeah, I can sure I can drift connect the corners and whatever but then after a Certain amount of times you do that you want to do it a certain way and that's the drifting is not hard drifting is very easy however once you, you you're like okay i drifted this corner connected it blah, 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 whatever i did this i did this i did this so now you want to connect it uh, connect it a certain way so now you're gonna want to go wider on this more on the inside on the next one or whatever that's when it becomes a bit more technical and a bit more like a bit harder i would say but generally drifting is easy however I, I had problems once I, I was like oh this is the way I should do a certain thing it was already like hour and a half already passed and I was kind of demotivated in a way like there's this one I, I think people I think the guy uh, that I rented the car from Nate's he was I guess he was uh, disappointed in a way uh, in my driving because there's this one part I'm gonna put the clip here now the thing I wanted to do is like you get out of this left left hand turn and then there's a bump and I did I managed to do it only once uh, on this bump, I wanted to go like manji it over the bump into the like you go, uh -huh. you go like left, you're drifting, and then I wanted to I wanted to transition the manji over the bump on my left side to my left side, and then I wanted to transition back to the right side. Problem is when you're going a bit faster, like 50 kilometers an hour or 40, like, and it's a really narrow track. Uh, like doing this manji over the bump can really send you out of the it can like catapult you out of the track so I did it once I really wanted to do it and I tried it a bunch of times but I felt that I'm not really trying it giving it 100% because every time I would think of oh what if it's what if it sends me off the track so I didn't really try it for real but I one time I was really focused and everything like I was really in the zone I tried it it felt amazing so I think it was like most of the people were watching like why the fuck is he because you're supposed to drift that corner uh, drift that corner like all the way like you're supposed to go like just there's like most people don't manji over that and I was like I really want to manji this little jump little bump so I think they were just watching like what the fuck is he doing this guy can't even drift um, but overall great experience I would recommend this shit to anyone like it's one of the best feelings you can experience in a car yeah I would just like to thank everyone and thank you for watching uh, there's some merch and shit you, you can hit sub subscribe somewhere down there I don't know where it is uh, it would be really cool and uh, in the next video I'm gonna be wearing the same clothes because I'm here actually to work on my car and I haven't even started yet and I've been here for like two hours or an hour I haven't even started doing anything yeah I can't wait to go there uh, to go there with my own car and just send it fully because even though it, my car is gonna be much more expensive in parts in the end it's still my car and I don't really care if I crash it maybe it's a stupid mindset but I don't know I, I don't feel comfortable crashing someone else's car which I in the end did I did crash the car a bit yeah so thank you for watching this video 
hope it was somewhat entertaining. I hope the quality was a bit better than usual because I don't really focus on quality that much. But yeah, that's it. Buy the merch. It really helps us. It helps me out. Helps us out to build the car. And that's pretty much it. Stay scummy and fucking peace out. Shaku muyaya. Shaku muyaya. Shaku muyaya.